First reading, a reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, I don't need to write you about the time or date when all this will happen. You surely know that the Lord's return will be as a thief coming at night. People will think they are safe and secure, but destruction will suddenly strike them like the pains of a woman about to give birth, and they won't escape. My dear friends, you don't live in darkness, and so that day won't surprise you like a thief. All of you belong to the light and live in the day. We don't live in the night or belong to the dark. Others may sleep, but we should stay awake and be alert. The word of the Lord. Response your song. The Lord is my light and my salvation. You, Lord, are the light that keeps me safe. I am not afraid of anyone. You protect me and I have no fears. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Lord, I know I will live to see how kind you are. Trust the Lord. Be brave and strong and trust the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. <laughs> So 
We shouldn't waste time always wishing we had what someone else had, or wishing we could do what someone else could do. We need to learn to be content with who we are, and then to find out who we are and what we're able to do, and keep improving on it, keep practicing whatever it is. It's why going to school, trying out for sports, trying out for teams, trying other organizations and groups and so on, it's always important to try. And when you find out you're able to do something and you like something, we believe that's the sign that God gives us that says, this is the way we should go. I've shared with you before how when I was a little boy, I was active in church things. And the more I kept doing it, the more I kept realizing that's what God wanted me to do with my life when I became a priest. Other people, they learn about medicine, or they learn about carpentry, or they learn about other skills, and they keep using them, and practicing them, and that's how God lets them know what they're supposed to do in the world. As you continue in your studies, whether it's in school or virtually, as you continue in your religious studies, whether it's coming here or on Zoom or at homeschooling, always keep an open mind and heart to what God might be trying to teach you by what you're able to do and even by what you're not able to do. And don't get disappointed when you can't do something because maybe that's God's sign saying you need to look in another direction and go in another way. Or as Jesus promised us so many times, he will always be with us to help us to go and to be where he wants us to go and what he wants us to become. And now we'll say the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. 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 As children of the light and of the day, we seek God's help to eliminate every form of darkness. When I say, we pray, you say, Lord, hear our prayer. For examples of courage and for loving wisdom from our church leaders, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our government leaders to focus on the future, for a true and lasting peace based on justice and the freedom to worship, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For people caught in conflict and war, for family members trying to keep peace, and for those who are lonely, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who gather at Children's Liturgy of the Word, for all who need strength from the Holy Spirit, may we use all the gifts and talents God has given us to serve others, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs listed in our parish prayer book, for those serving in the military and the missions, for all who need our prayers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. If you have people you would like to pray for, please do that now. For these intentions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God of wisdom and power, may we learn to rely on your promises and your gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.